Welcome to KJ Disc. My name is Matthias and this is KJ Naibo, 13 time Danish champion, current European Masters champion, all around <laughs> badass disc golfer. And where are we today? We're here at Copenhagen Open at Valpyparken. Exciting tournament and this is the first stop on the brand new European Pro Tour. Which means we got, uh, we're playing for some serious cash. Oh yeah. Say a few words about Valpyparken. Yeah, so Valpyparken is uh, very close to uh, Copenhagen city. And um, it's uh, so far the second most played course on UDISC. All right. Well, let's get on with the action. And here we have some guy. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but he got swag. Yeah. Representing the Denmark. Star Destroyer. <laughs> this is Noah Smith from England. Current rating 980. And this is Lawrence from Austria. Fresh guy. Yeah, he's uh, one of the best uh, from Austria, I would say. And this is Morten Brenner from Norway. Norike. Yeah, from Christian Sand. And, um, and we're off at hole number one. Yeah. This is a, a new hole designed for the tournament specifically. Yeah. And uh, to the left over here is a Rosen Garden, that, uh, which is why we don't get to play it that often. This is where you want to land. And then you have an upshot to the basket here. There's OB on the left, OB on the right. And um, the path behind the basket. Yeah, yeah. Nice drone footage there. All right, KJ's up. Yep. Home, home court first, advantage. First on the tee. About to show these people. Yeah. Destroyer got a little lift there. Gave it a lot of height there, but it's pretty windy this day. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, the wind is going to be a theme throughout the day without giving away too much. And this is the, one of the later rounds the wind picked up. Yeah. Teeing off at 3.15. Three so, this was uh, modern. Yeah. Quite a crush. Some pretty flowers there. And uh, Lawrence. Good pull here with a skip. And uh, that's a good position. So you far. Get a good roll there. Wow. Good shot. We don't have a lot of British people in mm. this golf. No, but that's right. A, yeah. A prime bomber. Yeah. Noah. Oh, oh I hit the tree. Oh. And rolls. I mean, it stops. Yeah. There's OB right there by the road. So that could have been yeah. a catastrophe. Yeah. It's still, it's. It's a tough uh, angle he has. He's going with his uh, uh, Casta past. What is it called? Berk. The, the Berk, yeah. The Berk. Yeah, the Berk. The phenomenon. Yeah, uh, turns it all a little bit too much. This is Morden, his upshot. Probably gonna go pretty straight. It's a little high. A little high, yeah. Hitting the branches. Oh. This upshot, you gotta keep it low and get that small skip. But you are facing the OB right behind the basket. Yes, it is a little scary. I'm keeping it low here. Plenty of highs there. With the pick. And uh, yeah. Were you hoping for a little skip in uh, nah. Eagle there? No. <laughs> no, it was just an upshot that maybe skipped a little bit too much. It, it was, uh, yeah. Kind and that is... Spin. The, the two approaches you just saw, that's why this is one of the easier uh, holes, is yeah. that if you crush that drive yeah. with a quote-unquote simple hyzer, this... Uh, Tends it over a little bit. This layup is uh, fairly manageable. Yeah, yeah. It should be a birdie for all of us, but... Uh, yeah, Morton here has a long putt. He can't really stab it because no. there's the OB. So exactly, like it a is a little scary. Weak on, lift. on the putts if you're far away. Oh, wobbly. Yeah, he made it with no spin at all. 
And here we have a couple of tab ends. Yeah, it's windy. See that gust on the path? Yep. Going any, the wind was. Yeah, you gotta commit to even the shorter putts when the wind is this heavy, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm always like putting on, on the angle so the wind is gonna push it down. And then Mostly. aiming, aiming Mostly. high or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Here we are at hole number two, also one of the new ones. Yeah, this is 143 meters. Starting out in a tight corridor. Yeah, clear that gap low and clear this bush on the left, clear that rhododendron on the right and then be on the path around right here and then make your upshot to the, through these trees. And uh, yeah, put again, in, put OB, in a circle. OB behind the basket again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But the path on the landing zone is safe. That's actually where you want to be, right? Yeah, it's a very committed uh, tee shot here. I'm yanking it right. I got a weird lift, but... Uh, Forward progress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So his, his um, shot was like he was turning it over and then over stable so it, it but it didn't just uh, get out of the the anheuser no i think he just saw yours and he was like well you're a local so you <laughs> must know what the hack is on this hole better but than i the think same. he was planning on doing that anheuser oh. with something over stable oh. but yeah modern he's hitting the trees high this is a, a berg again He's just uh, he wants to get out and getting that's it. getting short position here and then maybe doing doing the heiser. It was a little short and Morden is just gonna play it out in the opening opening. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. It's like fifty to the basket. And or you're something. blind to the basket from uh, that yeah. eye, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah he is too. You can kind of see the trees behind the basket, but uh, that's a long side arm from there. But uh, he kind of pulled it a little bit to the left and uh, had a lot of juice on it. Yeah, yeah, he could probably have made it if if he just put it out the right line. Yeah, and Lawrence, that's pretty good. That's through the trees, just outside the circle. Yeah, uh, he likes uh. it. He likes <laughs> it. <laughs> so I'm in the rhododendron. Yeah. And uh, Firebird. Thumber. That's commitment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's okay. There's a nice replay of commitment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. Knock if, yourself if that, out. That was legal. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> I was hitting that, uh, but with your face. Bookspum bush, totally. But so you can't I hit the bush with your face. <laughs> <laughs> face fault instead of foot fault. Yeah. So I was pretty annoyed, or or I was, you know, I couldn't run this. So yeah, I had to lay that up. It was too windy. Yeah. Too windy to run it and just start off the tournament as well. So yeah. didn't want to do anything stupid. But um, all the other guys are laying up as well. Yeah, pars. And uh, and but this par. is a birdieable hole, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I was counting down there one, two, three, just to see if he was ready. <laughs> Yeah, so this is hole three. Mm. Will mm. we see a forehand Nine. out of KJ? <laughs> yeah, 95 uh, meters, and uh, yeah, you can you can e reach this with uh, sidearm or backhand. Uh, it suits the sidearm the best, I would say, because it's kind of level it like that that you skip uphill with the sidearm. Because the basket is downhill as well. Yeah, you can see it right there. And I'm kind of uh, 
not perfect. Putting too much hyzer on it. I was afraid of it flipping in, in that wind that will yeah, kind of blow the disc over. This is a good side arm. Good, nice oh, skip good. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Using the hill. He was parked. I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's low. Yeah, that's Sneaky. low and kind of just uh, straighten out for him. Maybe too hard? Overpowered it? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good too, Noah. Some I don't know how old British he is, flight he, there. He, he looks young. Yeah, yeah. He's probably pretty young. Handsome lad. 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 <laughs> yeah. How do you say it, the Brits? Oh, it Handsome just cleared lad. the tree there. Yeah. That's good. I haven't any pot here. Ooh. Yeah, needed to put a little more angle on it. Didn't get that birdie. But he the did. Birdie. Nice, Lawrence. Great. Morton got the par. We don't know how to pronounce his first name. We're sorry if we're butchering throughout this whole video. Lawrence? Lawrence? Lawrence. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's right, Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah. Birdie for Noah. Very nice. Good side arms. Don't my lucky strike. Love the way you ride. Look into my eyes. Say you ready to go. Let me wrap my arms around you. This is a uh, hole one. On the usual course layout. Here, <laughs> hole four. Yeah. <laughs> And it's called OB1 because it's hole one and you got OB on the left all the way up here. And on the right. And on the end of the hole as well. There's a small path as well. You cannot go too long either. But uh, there is many ways to throw this. Probably sidearm rollers. It's kind of a low seal. So uh, this is actually a, a yeah, that's a, that roller see the wind how that is blowing it was tailwind here so and it's just taking the bike path wow, all the way wow that is crazy <laughs> wow yeah i'm gonna do the same thing copy paste that that looked too crazy you're going a little wider yeah yeah and there you had me scared for a moment. Got yeah, to do a little lift. That's OB, and then getting inbound right at that See, corner. See, that's what happens when your cameraman wow. is on your team. Yeah. He'll get out of the way when your uh, <laughs> disc is out of bounds, rolling back towards inbounds. Yeah, he's out of the way real fast. Low skip. Yeah, that's a good. Okay, spot. I would say. Now the sidearm, so the wind is really ripping here. You can see that it's just pushing that when it's skipping. See the flags, but uh, and then Lawrence upshot, keeping it high. It's gonna get pushed down. Perfect. Yeah, that's great, great. Yeah. And the two of you out there with the rollers, you rolled too far because yeah, you sort did. of pinched out. Yeah. Uh, uh, like relating to the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Noah is even pinched off more than me. So you so your proud, very successful epic rollers sort of both bit you in the Yeah, end. you can see this tree. But uh, Noah is Doink. That stayed up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. His berg. Yeah, flying bird. Morton from Circle's Edge, I'd say. Oh, whoa. First of it. But it got closer, right? And that's a mistake only a rookie would make. Oh, yeah. wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the veteran. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to put oh. some, some Annie on it, but... Uh, you guys are having much. a tough day on the green right here. Oof. <laughs> that looked a little scary too. So Lawrence. 
he gets the only uh, birdie on the card. Yeah. Low else. Oof. That wind on that flag. Yeah. And the wind uh, picked up for the afternoon round. Yeah. So you guys are screwed on that. Hole number five. Yeah. Mm. Island or like uh, just yeah. a huge OB no, area to start? It is an island, is? yeah. Island green. Okay. And uh, it's 93 meters. Played like an island, yeah. You can go sidearm, backhand, mid range, and oof, too much juice. And that's and OB, out of bounds, long of the island. Yeah, you can see the OB lines. OB sticks. Noah probably compensates. Yeah, probably taking some of that juice off. Yeah, that's pretty good. Probably fiber. Nate Sexton. Oof. Ooh, it's that rock. You're the only uh, yeah, backhand, good, and good. you make it look easy. Although good backstop. You, you did have to dodge a few things and hit a rock at the end. Yeah. Actually, I was changing my game plan here because I was playing staple T-Bird on it and uh, in practice I was skipping OB and this wind was too crazy for, for that T-Bird. Very nice shot of Morton here. That's how you avoid putting in the wind. Yeah. 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 That's right. And that That's got pushed layup. out. layup. Yeah. Or maybe a layup. Oh yeah. Good putt. Good power. Yeah. Putting on the right line. Yeah. In one of our old videos, you have a nasty spit out on this basket, and we agreed that it was because the basket was old. But new Prodigy Baskets was put yeah. in for this tournament. Yeah, you can see they're so you locked up. No by, longer uh, had an excuse, which yeah. is then good you managed to execute. <laughs> yeah. This is hope six, and uh, par three, it's 85 meters. It's kind of a sidearm or any mid-range and then a slide up to the basket and in Velvipagen this is one of uh, our wooden holes like uh, yeah this golf in the forest yeah it's one of the newer holes that, that was built later and the other holes going rock here why not yeah splitting yeah. Those last two, that's good angle beautiful. on it, and uh, just stopped by the end and trees there. This is uh, pulled, and uh, still getting some um, forward progress. Because the first half of that's the fairway is slightly open, and then this you get into these smaller trees. Yeah, this is Rhino Lawrence's Rhino. Morton's upshot here. Nothing else he can do? No. And nowhere. Uh, touchy? Yeah. Very nice. He controls that berg very well. Uh, yeah. A little long, windy, a little scared. Stab it. Stab it. Oh. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Full power. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> If I miss that one, it's yeah, <laughs> probably in the forest. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to sell out Lawrence, but we had to wait for him for a while. Because yeah. uh, he went for a little uh, trip in the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is uh, hole seven, par three, 80, nice 68 meters. Uh, it's called the pinball hole. And uh, it's been even, oh. yeah, yanked it right. Uh. Pulled it kind of. And uh, so this, this hole is also saying a lot of how many is playing this course because it's, uh, there's so many branches and trees and kind of that are not there anymore. 
because there's so many players playing there. So people are hitting, bending, everything. bending, and hitting, and yeah. So it's it's kind of yeah. They lost a lot of branches there, but uh, it's kind of okay. I think it's better now, and you can scramble a little bit more from, for example, here, which is. I didn't get any puckers at all, but this was nice. a very good shot. Yeah, I had nice nothing. But, I mean, uh, I, I love nature, but I don't mind that all the branches are gone when I'm shooting this golf. No, that's right. And about that shot again that I was shooting, it's if, if the wind wasn't there, I couldn't have made it all the way up there. So it was only the wind that, that, that helped me there. No, oh, that was a nice uh, relief on that uh, scramble. M maybe bogey, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scramble. Yeah, I guess with that tee shot, like off the drive, you're like, yeah, you can easily par. Get a par is a there. long way from there. Yeah. Yeah. So some pars and hole eight here, par four. Um, One of the holes that we had in our preview video. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Ashton and you were excited about this. Yeah. This is where you want to land it, and up here is even better. But yeah. And got to choose a gap up there, and then yeah. open green with a backstop so you can give it a run if you feel frisky. <laughs> yeah. And it's leveled very well. So that's nice. It's kind of a any you don't want to put it out too high. This is yeah, that hit the last branch. It looked perfect though, and a little high from the start, but it was pretty good. I'm just going even higher <laughs> and taking a different yeah, branch. but in the fairway. Yeah, still on the fairway kind of. You'll have a little. Bit. Very short though. Oh, roller committing in to this the roller. Wind. I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be crazy. But kind of. Maybe nah. he saw our pre preview video where you did a roller. Oh, yeah, maybe. And went all the way up there. And he's <laughs> like, well, maybe that's how it's done. Yeah. So Lawrence here is making a good shot. That's more like it. Yeah. Keeping low and. Yeah, just straight with any. So I'm trying to go side arm cut roller and put a lot of angle on it so it would cut at least a little bit. That's awesome. And the wind kind of held it as well. So, yeah. So the wind was good for a forehand roller, but not a backhand roller. Yeah, yeah. Especially with, with that cut fiber. Just gonna keep on going straight, but uh, he kind of hit some of the trees. And he's like, "I was promised in the practice video this would work." <laughs> oh yeah, he uh, yanked that one in the tree. A little too high, hitting a branch and straightening out on the left. Didn't really have time to flex back all the way. No. I think it hit a branch, I'm not oh. sure, but that's good. Yeah, as good as it goes. Yeah. Was that from his drive? Yeah. Oh, convenient. I think so. Yeah. yeah he had a really good drive there. It says mm. Team UK on the back of his shirt. Yeah. Yeah. The Berg again? Yeah. There are eight people in that club. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. there's another British person playing in this tournament, playing in the FPO, and she is kicking everyone's ass. <laughs> so, just outside the circle here, it's a windy one. Oof. Boom! We lifted it up a little high on the right, but a uh, good basket. We got a yay, Jay! First yeah. of the round. <laughs> oh, good catch. Yeah. My caddy in the background there, Peter. Yeah. Par for Noah. 
what, what, uh, what, what's with those putts? Yeah, that's, they look uh, strange. Yeah, it's uh, nose down for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but uh, hole nine. It's funny because he changed it, the putts as well. Oh. When he's close and and when when he's further away. Yeah, yeah, hole nine. This is called uh, the sinus curve. Yeah. It's named after the course designer and the TD of this specific tournament. Yeah. So shout out to sinus. Yeah. So I was choosing the right side of this tree. Usually I go straight with the little Annie on a stable T bird. But here it was so windy that I kind of needed to change my game plan. So. Uh, Did you hit something or was it just short? No, no it was no just things. short. Yeah. It kind of. I don't know. I sh probably I should have scaled up to a destroyer instead of that T bird. Um, I mean, it's 111 meters. Yeah, but oh, the wind. There's the branch and yeah. the wind lift. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, it's the wind is. And crazy then it's here. coming in. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just outside the circle That's with the branch nice. kick. That's nice. Or oh, kiss. That's nice. Lawrence doing this, Ooh. trying to do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, he saw that it worked, yeah. so why not? Uh, but no. Early kiss and a lift. Yeah. I'm very short here. Just a layup. Yeah. Was but the big tree in your uh, a little view, bit? Or? A little bit. Yeah. But it's it's mostly the wind. You got to really focus here. Uh, you can easily just get pushed down, and the grass will grab your disc. So, so yeah, you needed to go all that crash and then get it slided to the basket. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was so close. Yeah, that was kind of the same part, but but uh, it's released almost like at a at a at a like very twenty degree angle. Or yeah, something. nose down. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well. Yeah. If it works. So that was front nine. Uh, we got some scores. Minus two, 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 and you four. Are you happy at this point? Mm, yeah, so far. It's it's not too bad, but uh, yeah, it's okay, I'd say. Yep. The wind uh, was definitely uh, playing a factor. Yeah. Yeah, the, the wind was crazy. Yep. But the tournament is on. Still going on. And we got plenty of uh, slow motion replays of epic putts and more and such on the back nine. So uh, please stay tuned. Feel free to join. Oh, that's new. 